Hello, my name is Xavi Casasuana and I'm the team leader of UPC Space Program from Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya. We are a group of students coming from various engineering fields such as aerospace, mechanical or electronics. And we are participating this year in European Rover Challenge 2022 with our rover named as Grover. Our team is composed of 21 members, distributed in five different departments as shown in the picture. The structural department in charge of the design and construction of the rover itself, the electronics department that designs the custom PCBs as well as cable management, software development for the communications and control of the rover, a department dedicated solely to the documentation and social media posts, and a scientific team in charge of the science task development. The structural design has had a complete blow up. The combination of mechanical and additive manufactured parts gives the rover chassis strength to withstand harsh pull conditions while granting maneuverability to move around complex runs. A very important part of the rover is our robotic arm that we have friendly named Brass. It enables us to manipulate objects for scientific tasks, like taking the required samples to be studied, or for the maintenance task. As we can see, we have the gripper that can catch and release rocks or other objects. It has the capability of rotating with 5 degrees of freedom and can take up to 600 grams on its gripper. With brand new motors that let the rover climb 45 degree slopes and stepper motors that enable it to turn around itself at any moment. The rover's maneuverability is achieved thanks to the new electronic components implemented. With the master slave control system, we achieve a more optimized data processing control, having a Raspberry Pi as the center control system that distributes information received via the Wi Fi antenna to the Arduino Mega Slaves. We also have a Jetson Nano in charge of the navigation and image processing. The electronics team has been working on a custom PCBs for all resolving power distribution and control of the different modules. Prototyping has been crucial in this part in order to ensure the perfect conditions for the final versions of the PCBs. Thanks to our software developers, our rover is capable of recognizing the environment around it and navigate through the terrain thanks to the ROS interface that has been implemented, employing five different packages, the joystick, the wheels, the movement, the brass, the navigation and vision. It can communicate with the ground station via Wi-Fi and can receive and transmit information in order to allow the members in charge of control to know the state of the rover. The movement is carried out through different ROS nodes ensuring the accurate control by using the status parameters and navigational data. The brass movement is programmed using inverse kinematics, making the gripper control easier with a joystick and by taking the images obtained from the cameras as a reference. Hello everyone, we are the scientific department of this mission. Our role is to choose a suitable landing spot inside the ascent area and organize the scientific tasks. This is our uh, landing spot selection and uh, to choose the landing spot selection, we took in consideration uh, the technical and scientific reasons. As for the technical justification, we have taken into account that the area is not have abandoned with craters and the prevailing winds from the northeast expected to slightly displace the rover during the descent phase. Upon selecting the landing area, we took into account the fact that the lithology is geologically appealing and is a result of ice-lava interaction. 